just not a record-setting performance. I mean, how, how nice is it to be back home? Did, did you expect them to do as well as they did again? I mean, sure, obviously not that great of a team, but did you expect that kind of performance from them? Well, we had a really good week of practice last week. Um, you know, we focused on us, you know, and, uh, you know, I thought they did a good job going out there and um, really playing assignment sound football. And, you know, it's kind of a – you always worry about traveling like that and the environment, what you're going to go into. I've never been there. Um, on our home games, we've had great fan support. It's been loud, and, and um, you know, going on a road like that, and everyone was talking about the losing streak and the winning streak. We tried to knock that noise out, and uh, I thought the, the team did a good job going out there and performing and not buying into the atmosphere and it kind of being a, a lull to sleep type game. I've been in those before, and uh, I stressed about that all week. So, when you take a look at the film, what jumps off the page about Mississippi College? You know, everything. Um, you know, they, they got a very dynamic offense. You know, they run the triple option from under center, um, which is very difficult to simulate in practice. It's very difficult to defend. Uh, one person gets out of their gap, and the, the ball goes for about 80 yards. You know, so um, that, that jumps off the film right there. We've got to be a sign and sound. And then uh, defensively, they're in a 3-3 stack, another defense you just don't see a whole lot of. So, you know, on both sides of football, we're going to have to make sure that we, uh, you know, really execute at a high level and, and be fundamentally sound. So, You know, you bring up something interesting. Just – when you have an offense like that, just how difficult is it for a scout team or somebody like that to try to pick up something that's so dependent on the system and discipline? Well, we've had some extra meetings with the scouts this week, that's for sure. Um, you know, but you know, we luckily we've got a few guys that play receiver and DB that actually ran some very similar offense like that when they're in high school. Um, so we've had a couple of guys at quarterback under center and uh, running that that, uh, that speed option for us, but. Um, you know, it's important because obviously game reps, game speed is different, very diff difficult to simulate in practice. But, um, you know, a lot of film study and a lot of make sure they know what their assignments are. And you can't get too crazy with your defensive scheme right there and create something new. If you do, it's going to be just a nightmare. So, Coach, we're kind of at the midway point of the season. How have the players kind of responded to getting in that mindset of business? And, you know, this week we have meetings, meetings, meetings. This week we have practice, practice, practice. How's the team really going to go? Well, I mean, I think that uh, they understand now what's at stake almost each and every week. You know, um, you know, it's not, you know, playoffs, we know that, but they're approaching every game as a playoff game, and we want to be 1-0 each week. So, you know, they've been very businesslike. Uh, we did get a little break in the weather yesterday, so we're pretty excited about that and had a really good practice. But, um, you know, uh, they, they've handled themselves very well. I mean, this group, have, they've played a lot of football games the last two years, so, you know, they know how to come in and work every day and um, not get too overly excited or – are not practice too low and uh, know that Saturday's going to be our best practice. Are you impressed by that? I mean, really team, am. yeah, teams can go one of two ways when they win a championship. They can yeah. either get kind of lazy or kind of capitalize on it. Yeah, you know, I am. I mean, the, we're, we're still a fairly young football team if you look at us, uh, but maturity level as far as on the field playing, you know, they've got some maturity and, and some experience right there. So. Uh, they have impressed me with that. They do show up every day with an attitude. All right, we know it's practice, but yeah, let's get out of here and let's work really hard. Um, you know, and, and I think coming in, I was very nervous about some of that. You know, are we going to be kind of complacent? Are we going to kind of just expect people to roll down, you know, for us? And um, they, they know that we're going to get everybody's best shot week in, week out. So um, they've handled the thing very well so far. Could you vote? Go ahead. Now, I know you're a fan of the air raid offense. Now you come here, you got Talon, Jamar, and Seth. Just how's the running game been working for you this far? How's that helped you as a coach, especially after the game? Well, um, you know, the air raid offense is really taking what they give you, you know. And, and if you're going to continue to have people just really drop and not let the receivers get downfield, then you got to be patient and run the ball. And that's what you saw last week. Um, now, our, our back foot's very dynamic. You look at uh, both running backs and both quarterbacks and, and everybody else involved. And, you know, those guys are able to, you know, get five yards and turn it into 75 yards, you know. So, um, you know, yeah, we are there, right? We like to throw the ball over the place, but at the same time, we're going to do whatever it takes to win a football game. Can you talk a little bit about guys filling into roles, uh, specifically on special teams? Tyson Shaw has really made his presence felt uh, with special teams. You know, I, I've said this almost for the last two weeks. I think, uh, you know, both uh, Tyson Shaw and uh, Fernando Ramirez have done an outstanding job. Uh, going into the season, you know, we lost a place kicker and a punter. We had no idea you know, who that was going to be. And both those young men have really, you know, stepped up to the challenge and done a great job.